using practical examples to help you learn video editing skills and understand how to use CapCut. Our simple and easy to follow approach aims to help total newbies start editing and producing videos from scratch. Now, let's get started by getting to know the CapCut interface. Open CapCut and you'll see the home page. Tap New Project at the top to open the editor. Next, you'll see the page for selecting video clips. Tap the circle to the top right of a clip to select it and then tap Add to add it to the project. With that, we'll enter the editor. The editor is split into four sections. Let's go from top to bottom. At the top, we can see the editor exit button and the export button. Tap the X in the top left to exit the editor. If you tap 1080p, you can select the video resolution and frame rate. Tap the export button to generate the finished video. The next section is the clip preview area. This shows you the video you're editing in real time. Now, let's look at everything in the bar below the preview from left to right. First, we have the editing time code. That shows your current time position and the total duration of the video. Next, the play button. Tap this button to preview your video. After that, we have the undo and redo buttons. If you make a mistake, just tap the undo button to undo the change. Finally, we have the full screen button. Tap this button to preview your video in full screen. The third section contains the editing tracks. At the top is the timeline, which you can change to be more or less exact. To do this, touch the screen in a blank part of the editing track section using two fingers and move your fingers outwards to show smaller units of time. This will help you make more precise edits. If you move your fingers together, it'll show bigger units of time, which can help when you're editing and previewing multiple clips. If you touch a blank area with just one finger and move it left or right, you can quickly preview the video sequence and content. To the left of the main video track is the sound button. Tap it to mute all of the original sound in the main video track. To set a cover and first frame, tap Cover. You can use one of the preset cover templates as the video cover. On the right, you can see the editing tracks, video, audio, text, stickers, and effects. We can always change the length and position of each track. To the very right is a plus icon. Tap this to open the clip selection page and add more clips to the editor. The fourth section is the editing toolbar. Here we can find top level buttons like edit, audio, and text. If we swipe left, we can see more buttons, such as filters and format. If you tap any top-level button, you'll open a second-level toolbar that allows you to make changes to clips. To get back to the top-level toolbar, simply tap the back arrow on the left. In future lessons, we'll look at how to use these tools. Now, let's look at the timeline and editing tracks. First, the timeline. When we're editing, the video, audio, and text will be displayed in step with the timeline. The length of the timeline will be increased if the video length is increased. This is an edited video. If we tap the play button, we can see the timeline and clips playing and moving from right to left. You can also see a vertical white bar. This white bar is the current time indicator. The frame that corresponds to the position of the white bar is shown in the preview area above. When we're editing, we can move a frame to the position of white bar to see what is happening in that frame. Now, you might notice that when the video is playing, the time code number changes. The first number shows where the white bar is in the video. Right now, it's 02. That means that the white bar is at the frame shown at 2 seconds of the video. The second number is 03, which means the whole video is 3 seconds long. If we tap the plus button on the far right and add a new clip, the time will change to 7 seconds. That means the total duration of the video track is 7 seconds. If your video needs to be a certain length, you can always keep an eye on the second number. Next, we'll take a look at how clips are displayed. If you want to edit a clip, you need to select it first. To do that, simply tap the clip. In this video, we have many different tracks video, audio, subtitle, sticker, and effect tracks. Because screen space is limited, some tracks are minimized when we're editing so we can focus better. Here we can mainly see the video track and audio track. We can't see the subtitle track. 
If we want to edit the video subtitles, we can tap the text button in the top level toolbar. This will then bring up the full subtitle track. Select the clip you want to edit and get to work. You can tap the arrow on the left to go back to the top level menu. You can bring up the sticker, effect, and filter tracks in the same way. That's all for this lesson. In the next lesson, we'll take it further and look how to import clips and make some basic edits, including trim and zoom. See you next time.